Hey guys, welcome back for another vlog for Smart Money Saturday. It is hot in my apartment, my town home. I don't know, something's wrong with my air. I'm like, it's hot and I've already been out and about all day. So I'm gonna make this very quick and brief. My hair's getting longer, I feel. And my face is getting fatter because I'm gaining weight which is like intentional. Like once I hit my goal weight, I'm gonna let you know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, happy October. I think, let me see. Mm, yeah, I, I didn't do a video. I haven't done a video or vlog since um, September. So happy October. Hopefully this month is also a great start for you guys. It's the first week and it is officially over already. So we are heading into the second week of October. So um, I'm pretty sure I told you guys last vlog um, that I did reach the goal for student loan number two. So on October 19th, I will get the deposit from my contract number two, which will 100% um, go to, the, to pay off the student loan. And as you know, I use a portion of my other income, other job, um, along with the full con the full amount that I get from the contract. Um, does that make sense? Like I I add about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars from my job number one to the full amount that I earn monthly from the contract number two. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, I'll make that deposit. I've already put $280 in that account. And then I'll add $1,000 on the 18th once I get my paycheck from job number one. And that'll be $1,280. So $1,280 that I'll be adding to that. And then on the 19th, I get the deposit for everything I earned from the contract number two. So that'll be the $6,000. One six thousand ninety four dollars. I think that's what the total will be because it that's counting the interest that should accrue or that is accruing every day. And I think by the time the 19th hits, it'll be six thousand ninety four dollars. So I will submit that payment on the 19th. Um, I if I have time, I'll do a bonus vlog like I did last time. If not, um, I'm gonna do it regardless, but if I'll either be able to edit and post it on the Friday night or I'll post it on the 20th after I do the regular vlog for you guys on that Saturday. But anyway, enough with that. Officially completed. Yeah, that. And so in like another week or two, I would have paid off officially two loans. And I'm now working on the third one. And that is crazy. So y'all, listen, another reason why I'm like kind of tired today is because this morning, I got up and I started watching YouTube videos. And I was listening to, I think, Lisa Nichols and um, Bishop T.D. Jakes and Will Smith and Oprah. And, like, literally, I had, like, a breakdown. Like, I started crying. Like, it just, it really hit me what I'm doing. And I was just like, God, I'm so grateful that after everything I've been through and everything I've sacrificed, like I'm at this point now where if I keep going, everything I've ever wanted and desired, I can have it. It's, just, it's not even a question. It's just like, do, how bad do I want it? Am I willing to put in the work right now to get it? It's like, God is saying, like, I got you. Like, if you want this, come and get it. Like, and I'm just like, I just cry, y'all. Like, I guess I just need that release because I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. And yes, it's work. And I think that's why people don't achieve things they want because they think it's like going to be in this like shiny, beautiful box and that's going to be just handed to them. But like, I guess extraordinary opportunities and blessings, they come with a requirement for work or the prerequisite. Prerequisite is work, right? So most people don't like that. They're... They don't want anything that comes with work. And I'm just grateful. I pray every day that God just keeps me 
on track and I just stay focused, man, for real. So, um, yeah. So this week went by super fast. Actually, my first job, job number one, I have been training the new counselor and, of course, doing my regular work. And there's a new counselor, new new counselor starting Monday, I think, when we train to her. So apparently, whenever new people start, the supervisor says, hey, I want, I want you guys to shout on Shamanda. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's a compliment. But then again, it's kind of like, yeah. But my clinical supervisor, who is um, helping me wrap up my last hours so that I can get my LPC license in Georgia, you know, she I tell her my goal is to become a clinical supervisor, to supervise new counselors coming in. And she's like, Shamanda, that's what you wanted. So here's your opportunity. You, you know, you got to think about it. This is a perfect opportunity. You've been presented with the opportunity to train people now. Before you even like need to do it, like here you are. It's like when you put something in the atmosphere, on the universe, God is going to <laughs> grant you those opportunities. You may not think it's coming, but trust me, it's coming, and it probably will come before you even think that it's time. But um, you know, I try to think of it in a positive way, but also try not to burn myself out because. You know, seeing all those patients and training people, and then when I leave there, I go see people, the clients in the community, and then I work all pretty much all weekend too. So it's a lot, and I'm just maintaining. You know, like literally, I've been working out too. That's the other thing. Like right now, I feel so sore. Like my whole body's sore. I've been gaining weight, but it's what I wanted, and like I'm toning it up, just making sure I stay toned. But I'm just like, I guess with all of that. This week, it just was like, oh, yeah, it's a lot. But, you know, I'm good. So this week, um, the total is going to be a little less than it usually would for my first week because for November, I am not going to add anything from my first job. I'm going to just use everything from my contract to pay off student loan number three. And um, let's see. Because... One of the, it's a three month, it's, I'm sorry, three pay period month, November is for me. So one of the paychecks is going to go to um, like emergency fund, we'll add a little extra there. And then the other one is going to uh, a couple little small debts that I had that I want to just go ahead and throw money to and just pay that off completely. Those little things that aren't part of my snowball right now. So that's that. So I'm not going to add anything from no, for November to this. So as of this week, the total I have is a thousand, one thousand fifty dollars, and the total that I need for student loan number three is six thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars. Now it's only six thousand two hundred and like fifty dollars right now, but by the time November the twenty rolls around, it's gonna be accrued. You know, it's gonna have accrued interest. So. $6,315 is the goal. And by the end of this month, I will have finished up my 90-day challenge of paying off the smallest three three smallest student loans, which equal about $18,150 in 90 days or three months. So I'm excited, y'all. I hope you guys are having a great um, experience on your journey toward debt freedom. Let's make it happen. Thank you guys who send me these comments like, oh, you, you motivate me. You know, have great energy and all that. Thank y'all because I'm so tired. But, like, I really do make sure I try to get these videos out for you guys. I appreciate you. Please make sure you, you know, send somebody my way so I can get my subscriber count up. Try to reach a 1,000 by the end of the, of the year and the 4,000 hours so I can monetize my channel because I have other things I want to do this channel because I do have a production company as well. So, 2019, look out for more of that. But right now, it's all about paying off this debt. And I am almost halfway done with student loans. I will see you guys next week. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys later. Oh, my birthday's next month. But I'll tell you guys about that next time. See you later. <laughs>